hello guys welcome to how to fix rack in this video guys we are going to fix this issue you can see on the screen initialization fail all initialization failed so how to troubleshoot this issue so first of all I should tell you why you are facing this issue so there are basically four reasons behind this error the first one is corrupted or outdated system or component drivers okay the second cause is incompatible hardware like if you have added the RAM or the hard drive so that is not supporting on your windows so may I, you might get this error as well the third one is bad or damaged system files if your windows system is corrupted and the image is also corrupted you may get this issue as well and the fourth one is bad sector on your hard drive or the SSD which is causing the issue not able to boot it and once it is booted it is restarting itself and getting the errors so first of all we will install the driver so go to device manager and click just need to search device manager open it up and expand all the drivers one by one especially look for display driver display is responsible okay right click and update it simply search automatically expand all the make sure there is no explanation mark on any drivers if have then just update the driver update them so this is the first method to update all the drivers the second option we need to try is updating the windows if you are using the outdated windows so you might get this error vessel so go to settings then click on windows update and just check for update make sure you don't have any pending updates here if have then let it install once the installation is done just restart your system and check if your issue is solved or not okay so in the third method you can see let it download let me minimize this once the download is done restart it in the third method we will repair the system corruption in our windows so go to cmd run it as your administrator this is important and type there sfc space slash scan now sfc stands for system file checker and this is very powerful and popular command to repair the windows corruptions once this process is done you just need to restart your system and thereafter you need to hit the another command open the cmd again as a administrator you need to hit this command online cleanup image restore health and this will also go to the hundred percent okay that's but you need to make sure that this, this command is completed and you have restarted the system this will restore your bad image you can see deployment image servicing and management tool so this is also very popular and the powerful command to restore the system image as well as the system health okay so check if your issue is solved or not if still not solve your issue we need to go to the cmd and this time we will repair the bad sectors from our hard disk or the ssd type the chk dsk space slash f space slash r r and f will repair bad sector as well as the hard drive corruptions okay type y okay and hit enter once you hit enter just restart your system plug in the charger this might take three to four hours but this is very powerful command all the corruptions including your hard drive corruption as well as the windows will be repaired okay so after applying these method your issue should fix if your issue is still not fixed and you have created a system restore point on your windows type the restore and simply restore your windows simply restore it when the system was working fine I choose the date here click on next finish and yes your system will be restored when your system was working fine all the data is safe software is safe and this process is also safe 
so this is how you can troubleshoot the issue hope your issue is fixed now if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech